the royal wedding is today, and many have been wondering how Meghan Markle, 36, and Prince Harry, 33, would make sure the late Princess Diana was honored in the day. And it seems the flowers are one of the ways the couple will remember Diana today. A sea of white flowers, with lots of foliage, have been chosen to adorn St. George's Chapel in Windsor. Diana loved gardens and flowers, particularly white ones, and a white garden was created in her honor at Kensington Palace. This was opened by Harry, William and the Duchess of Cambridge last year. Royal wedding, flowers and floral displays show a nod to Princess Diana by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle Meghan's favorite, peonies, can be seen throughout the floral displays, and it is expected she will include them in her bouquet. The flowers have been designed by Philip Ecratic, and she has used locally sourced foliage, including from the gardens of the Crown Estate in Windsor Great Park. The self-taught florist has used flowers and plants that are in season. Also seen in the displays are branches of beech, birch and hornbeam, as well as white garden roses and foxgloves. The palace had previously said the designs reflect the wild and natural landscapes from which many of the plants will be drawn. P.A. Getty Image Royal Wedding, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have chosen white in a nod to Princess Diana Getty Image Royal Wedding, Meghan Markle's favorite, peonies, can also be seen everywhere Getty Image Royal Wedding, the steps leading up to the chapel have been well decorated by flowers after the wedding, the couple have arranged for the flowers to be distributed to charitable organizations. Speaking at the time of her appointment as the official florist, Craddock said, I am excited and honored to have been chosen by Prince Harry and Ms. Meghan Markle to design and create their wedding flowers, working with them has been an absolute pleasure. The process has been highly collaborative, free-flowing, creative and fun, the final designs will represent them as a couple, which I always aim to achieve in my work, with local sourcing, seasonality and sustainability being at the forefront, Harry has made nods to his mother ever since his engagement, and chose two diamonds belonging to Diana to create Meghan's engagement ring. Eddie Image Royal Wedding, St. George's Chapel has been decorated with white and green foliage for Royal Wedding, the flowers will be distributed to charitable organizations after the wedding for Royal Wedding, the outside of the chapel has a massive floral arch to welcome guests Getty Image Royal Wedding, guests will be greeted by the splendor of St. George's Chapel adorned. With foliage he explained why at his engagement interview, and said, The little diamonds either side are for my mother's jewelry collection to make sure that she's with us on this, on this crazy journey together. The couple have also chosen her sister, Lady Jane Fellows, to give a reading in the church service. Kensington Palace announced this month, all three siblings of Diana, Princess of Wales will be in attendance and Lady Jane Fellows will give the reading, Prince Harry and Ms. Markle both feel honored that Lady Jane will be representing her family and helping to celebrate the memory of the late princess on the wedding day, so who is Lady Jane Fellows? The middle child of the three sisters, the other sister being Lady Sarah McCorkadale, is not well known by the public.